What up there YouTube, this is Naruto340 and today I'm bringing you guys a deck of the month plus um, some updates on my channel and uh, uh, eBay store and all that good stuff so um, yeah let's get started so the first thing I oh wow sorry the first thing I would like to show you guys here is that I am currently at 393 subscribers and all thanks to none other than you guys um, just thank you so much for your love and support. And, uh, you have no idea how much I appreciate this. Um, all these guys who are sent. And yeah, it's just um, some great times. So thanks a lot for that. Um, yeah, with that said, let's move on to the next. Oh, gotta find, hold on. Um, I have to find mine. Uh, my channel, uh, not my channel, my eBay store. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm at a hundred. If you guys can see that, I'm at positive uh, feedback, so which is awesome. Um, here's my items for sale. I have a lot of um, play mats and like the Dragon Ball Z, the Naruto, the Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, play mats up on my eBay store. I also have a lot of cards for, on there as well, like the Black Rose Dragon, two of them, uh, one Mizuki, and all that good stuff. So, if you guys purchase anything from here, remember, guys, all these points tally up um, uh, for the contest. A lot of you guys, for, for example, Fable Lauren, purchase a lot of my mats from my eBay store. So. Um, that's one quick way of earning a lot of points so that's that and the last thing I want to talk about before we get into the deck uh, is dueling network if you guys have never heard of this um, hopefully um, yeah shame on you you guys uh, or not shame on you but I hope you guys will use this feature especially if you guys want to get into like the competitive scene of Yu-Gi-Oh um, you can come here and just uh, practice some your decks. I know sometimes, and most of you guys uh, might not have a team, or you're just um, just starting this uh, this game. So you want to try play testing decks and playing with other people around the world. Uh, this site allows you to do that. Um, let me just quickly show you some of the features. Uh, you could you have a it's pretty much like YVD. Um, you can create decks. For example, I have my Infernity deck. Oh, no. So you see, I have my Infernity deck. You don't need any codes or anything like that. You have your um, deck construction, you have your deck, your side deck, and your extra deck. It's pretty amazing how they um, set this. So you have that you have this uh, cool little public chat where you can just go talk to people and your profile you can change your picture I have Bakura because he's amazing like that and I have my little spiel about checking out my YouTube channel all that good stuff profile um, as you guys can see if you guys want to ever hit me up it's Naruto 340 and right now I'm currently at 37 wins 24 losses and one draw so with that said, I'm doing pretty okay. I want to get better. Uh, I've been mostly a collector uh, for a long time, so I'm trying to get into the dueling scene. And so that's that. Once you build a deck, you have the rated section where obviously if you play uh, and you win, you earn points. If you lose, you lose points. Unrated, this is just for a friendly competition and traditional format. It's pretty hot how they set this up. So yeah, give it a try. It's www.duelingnetwork.com. I have the link down below. And I have my um, eBay store annotation somewhere here as well. And yeah, let's get uh, going with the deck vid. Let me just set up my tripod, guys. Come on. Alright, so let's get started. Um, this uh, will be the deck of the month video for June, I guess. So with that being said, let's get on to um, the 
deck profile bit. So, hold on guys, I'm trying to just get my synchro cards out of my deck box. Alright, so, this is one of the te uh, decks I've been playtesting for a while, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, it's Dragoonities, obviously. I run three Trident Dragons, I might drop it to two. I don't really, I don't use this deck as a uh, OT... I don't use the OTK version pretty much. I use the control version, meaning, uh, yeah, I summon Trident uh, dra uh, Dragon um, once in a while, but he's not my uh, main synchro that I go to. I have three Dragoonie Knight Varyana, or I don't know how to pronounce this card, but this card is pretty much the heart of the synchros that I go to. Why? Because it's a level 6, it's very easy to spam, especially with this Dragoonity deck. And this card allows me to equip one uh, Dragoonity card, uh, or I should say Dragon type, level 3 or lower, um, onto this card. And, um, yeah, you go off from there. I'll show you some of the strategies in a little bit. Obviously, the other synchros that I run... Scrap Dragon because he's pro like that. Black Rose Dragon because it's pro. Iron Chain because it's a dragon. Embryonic. I run double Stardust right now. My other Stardust is in uh, another deck. But I'm planning to run one more so it's going to be three Stardust. Um, Ancient Fairy. Trishula. I'm planning to take out some, probably two of these, put in one more Stardust and a um, two Thought Rulers, probably something like that, something along those lines. I'll show you an updated version once it's made, um, but that's that. So that was the extra deck. Now let's get on to the main deck. First card I run, Dragoonity, uh, Dragoonity Brandy Stick, or Brandy Stock I should say. Um, this card is a level 1 tuner. Its stats are very mediocre, 600 to 400, but the cool thing about this card is, first of all, it's a level 1 tuner. And uh, you could use this card with card of, um, card, uh, of consonants. Um, so you could pitch it to draw 2, or you can equip this to any pretty much Dragoonity uh, monster and attack twice, that's it's a card effect, so which is awesome. So that's that. I run two Axles. Ackles, or wow, I'm butchering their names. Ackles, Dragoonity Ackles. Now this card is pretty cool because uh, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon a Dragoonity monster from your hand. Now sometimes you might not have the combos you might need, so I can go off by doing something like this, if I have a Dragoonity Ducks and Ackles and let's say a Flanix in my graveyard um, and I need a quick out in the let's say I don't have this guy in my grave I can go these two Synchro level 6 and uh, or I have let's say this card in my graveyard, sorry I'm kinda rambling I'm focusing on another thing as well so um, level 6, and then you bring back, let's say you had a Flanix in your graveyard, bring it, Synchro for level 8, and there you go. So I run two of Dragoonity Axles, it's a level 2 tuner, it's pretty amazing, and one Brandy Stock for now. Obviously, in a Dragoonity deck, you need to run three Flanix. Um, this card Pretty much the main purpose is you can equip this, unequip, and you know, just uh, start the synchro spamming from there. Three ducks, because this card is amazing. This card gains 200 for each Dragoonity card uh, you control. When you normal summon this card, you can select one level 3 or lower, so pretty much any of these. Um, Dragoonity type uh, monsters in your graveyard and equip it. So you might go with Dragoonity Ducks and Brandy Stock 
or you might go Dragon Age Dux and Flanex, Unequip, Synchro, and all that spiel. And by the way, that is a quick level 6, so that's awesome like that. I run 3 Legionnaire because these guys are also an easy way to summon big synchro monsters really quickly. Uh, when this card is normal summon, you can select level 3 or lower, Dragoon any type, blah blah blah, from your graveyard. You can send one Dragoon any card from your spell and trap. Uh, to select one face of monster your opponent controls and destroy it. So let's say they have a this card is pretty much a miniature scrap dragon. Um, if you they have like something like a scrap dragon, let's say, and you have to get over it, and you don't you've used all your tuners or whatnot, and you have the catastrophes in your graveyard, and you don't have any outs. All you have to do normal summon him, bring out any. Um, Equip and equip it to him. Tribute, and there you go. You just destroyed that big monster, and you can attack with a 1200 beater, which is not bad for a level three. I run three uh, Dragoon Arma Leviathan. Uh, this card is pretty stupid. I don't like I don't like it at all, but sometimes it comes in handy, and so I need to play these two. Um, if you guys don't know its effect, you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard by removing from play one face of Dragoon uh, wow, face of monster you control equipped with a Dragoon ED card. When this card is normal summon or special summon, you can select one Dragon type monster in your graveyard except this guy and equip it to this card. When this card is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect, you can select one monster that was equipped to this card. Um, and special summon that monster. So yeah, um, it's very situational. But I like the fact that, uh, for example, if I had something like a ducks and something like this, and I ran out of level six because sometimes that happens. Because like I said, uh, you synchro summon like crazy, and level sixes if you don't have pot of avarice, it it won't go off. Um, you can pitch for this guy. He's a freaking 2600 beater, so you can beat over stuff. That was my lineup. I've run a low monster. Uh, actually, I guess this is a standard lineup. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 monsters. I run 3 drag uh, Dragon Ravine. Obviously, you need this card. Two pot of dualities for draw power. Uh, pot of dualities. Some people don't like it in dragoonities because you special summon a lot, but sometimes you need that extra setup stage. Two MSTs for back row hate and the necro valley hate. Cards of continents for draw power. Two terraforming. One uh, future fusion. Five uh, headed dragon is awesome. One pot of avarice. One Dark Hole, Giant Trunade, and Monster Reborn. Staples, pretty much. Two Solemn Warning, Staple. Icarus Attack, sta uh, Staple and Dragoonities, at least. Trap Stun, I like to, my things to go off, so I need this card to protect. Seven Tools, uh, Torrent, um, Solemn Judgment, Royal Oppression. I use Royal Oppression once I have my big beaters out onto the field. And I don't need any more setup. I use this card to lock down my opponent. And lastly, Mirror Force. This deck has been uh, doing well, especially on uh, Dueling Network. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Like I said, this is the control version. So I'm gonna go probably going to take out a Dragoon, uh, a Trident Dragon, because I don't need it. I'm probably going to add two more Stardust and two Thought Rulers or something along those lines. So yeah, please check out my eBay store, please enter my contest, please help me reach a thousand subscribers, uh, it's not too late, um, earn points, and I hope you enjoyed this deck of the month video, if you guys want to buy this, I have this for trade and or sale, preferably sale, so yeah, that is that, and this is Naruto 340, and I'm out, peace out guys.